Hey guys, welcome to Fallout 4. I don't usually do mod highlights, but this is one of the best, most intricate, complicated mods I've ever seen. It took a lot of work to do, and I think it deserves to be highlighted and spotlighted because uh, it was probably a huge undertaking. Uh, now, if you enjoy building settlements, this mod is perfect for you. Uh, build, enjoy building settlements, but maybe not enjoy doing everything. You want your settlement to have some autonomy. You don't want to be the overseer, the overlord. Um, if you played games like SimCity or City Skylines, it's pretty much just like that. Now, to get started, uh, you will need to find a hollow tape. It's at the Museum of Freedom. This unlocks the mod. It's on the second story next to a terminal. There is a console command, but I don't know it, so just go there. It takes two seconds. Once you find it, you can go to your MISC, and you will find the City Manager 278 hollow tape. You can load it up. This will basically... Uh, allow you to use the mod. Next thing you want to do is hit ASAM sensor info. This allows you to build ASAM sensors. Uh, those allow you to build plots. This menu also allows you to do some configurations with taxes, zoning, as you can see. Uh, now, I know I just said plots, and that's basically what the mod is. It allows you to put plots down for certain things such as you have your agricultural plot which is you guessed it agriculture you have your consumer plots you have your industrial plots and you have your residentials all with different types uh, now let's just do a quick demo i'll put down a couple of uh, residential plots uh the reason i actually can't put down let's do let's do one concrete because the other ones are regular um for industrial and, and commercial you need certain requirements a certain amount of uh home plots now, when you, when you put down your residential plots, it will automatically start building itself. Uh, materials will spawn, as you can see, with three different types, so you get some variation. Uh, one th the first thing you should do before anything is you should connect them to power because you need power to build. So let's just put down a couple uh, medium generators just, to, just for this experiment. Another thing I would invest in is another mod that um, uh, extends your power line. Uh, length because you're gonna need it. Obviously, I, I can't actually do this right now because they're in the way. Wow, a uh, cow just spawned in the middle of that residential. Uh, yes, but they will start building themselves. And um, if you have any people without beds, they will automatically spawn. They'll automatically be assigned. As you can see, these are slowly being built. This one is quite junk filled. Um, now, getting into the types of buildings that you're gonna see, just like SimCity, just like City Skylines. When you start out building for the first time in a city, the quote-unquote land value is very low and all your buildings are going to be really shitty. So the land value quote-unquote here is very shitty, which means that all these buildings are total crap. As you can see, they're total crap. Um, now in SimCity, you can upgrade, you can make the land value higher by adding parks and stuff and better schools. Obviously, you can't do that in this game. So what the creator made was the ability to upgrade these um, houses by adding in the area around it uh, basically everything you see at the top. Food, water, power, defense, happiness, and other things such as, such as their job quality uh, and scavenge stuff. Um, it is kind of confusing. I'll try to go into depth in it a little bit later, but let's just see these houses that have just been built. Even got some Nuka Cola in there. Uh, so. Pretty well designed, I'd have to say. I like having static items around because uh, having junk around makes it feel more al al alive. Having, you know, putting tables with nothing on it just makes it feel dead inside. Even some money right there. Let's check out the next one real quick. Uh, pretty good. Got a Tato and a Nuka Cola. Pretty shitty bed. Last one is done. And they're all pretty shitty. Yeah. So these are, they're all shit shacks, to be honest. Oh, let's connect them to power now. Connecting, connecting them to powers are already going to upgrade uh, their, um... oh wow, I can't. Oh, that sucks. All right. I have to build a generator for this one alone, a small one right outside. I also have quieter generators, which is why you don't hear them as much. But as I said, people will be automatically assigned to them. Each one should already be assigned. Yeah, they are, they are all already assigned. If we quit out of um, building mode, if you go up to the... Uh, the poles and the mailbox you can see uh, if you hit R you can see all these those things that I mentioned that are affecting it 
so it actually tells you who designed it. Uh, you can see power minus one, defense minus one, food, water, happiness bonus, and scavenge bonus, all minus one. And also you have income and tax rate. So depending on what job they have, if they have a very nice job, they'll make more money and you'll get more in taxes. Um, if you're looking for your owner as well, let's say you can't find the owner, or maybe he's dead or whatever. If you go up to it and you hit E, it will give you a miscellaneous quest you can go find building lot and occupants and now it's actually mapped on as a quest so this is Preston Garvey's shitty shit shack uh, obviously these are complete shit shacks but you can do things to upgrade them to make them better another thing that I'll mention now is these buildings have different types obviously uh, I think for residential I think for all types except for agricultural so there's three versions of development for commercial, industrial, and residential. Now, I mentioned before that their, quali their quality of their job also affects their residential development. So let's say this person here works, you know, let's just put a residential, let's just put a commercial here. Let's just say there's a shop right here. Let's say this person works at this shop. Let's say this shop is a level two development, so it's I think there's three levels, so it's 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 okay. That will affect the, the development of this residential. So maybe maybe because this person works at a level two commercial, this residential will go to level two. Now, obviously, agricultural does not need <laughs> any power. It's just a giant pile of dirt. Uh, but we can we can look at how this is affecting the plot. So it hasn't changed anything. Okay. All right, guys. So that is it for the mod spotlight. Uh, the agricultural plot got finished. Unfortunately, I couldn't boost anything to upgrade this this house. It's probably more complicated than just simply putting a turret, some potatoes, and some water next to it. Probably more uh, intricate than that. But uh, hopefully, if you guys get the mod, uh, it'll be easier for you. I think this is a very exciting mod. I can't wait to see what, he, what, what I can do. This is literally just five minutes of building, and I already have three buildings here. And uh, I just can't wait to see what I can build with this. Uh, especially if you don't like building so much, this is the mod for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one.